Guess what? You'll be joining those willing dead very soon? Wait, wait for me! Wait for me! What's happening? You just need to not get hit. It is so dark. What the hell is this? Hello everyone, it's your boy Lucas, and welcome back to episode 5 of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we started exploring central Hyrule, like the central region. We went towards the east, we saw like a battle talus, uh, we visited one of the stables. We did a little bit of exploration and so that's what we're gonna keep doing today. Hope you guys are doing well, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. One quick note is this week on Friday we're gonna be starting a new game on the channel. We're gonna be starting Return of the Obra Dinn, which is the game that won the poll that I posted on the channel. Although it won by a very very small margin over inscription. This was a highly requested game when I was playing Outer Wilds, so be sure to check it out on Friday. But for now, let's dive into some more Tears of the Kingdom, so without any further ado, let's jump in. Here we are back at Wetlands. Oh, there's a Gerudo now. Hello? Splash Fruits. Sabata. Sabata? Mm -hmm. You ever tried busting open one of those Splash Fruits? If you hit him or smash them against something, water comes splashing out. You can use them to put out fires or cool yourself down on a hot day. If you ask me, they're essential for travel. Say, that pitch wasn't half bad. Perhaps I have, <laughs> I have a future in fruit vending. Yeah, it was pretty good. My beetle is back to chilling inside. We get it, it's a kind of a hot day. We got some saddles here. Oh. All right, here we are back in central. Oh, actually we're a little bit out of central Hyrule now. Uh, right, right, an uninvited guest. Right, this little kid asked us, was it a kid or just a small person? That's a kid, right? Yeah. Uh, we have a little side quest here. Apparently there's like some big monster over there. Either like a big bokoblin, maybe a, a Enox. And also I wanted to check out this well. Like what's down there? Let's go check it out. Because this might... Oh, hello. I didn't expect someone down here. With another side quest, huh? Uh, I was thinking the well might lead us to... That monster cam? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Oh, there's some... Uh, some lizards up there. Should I, like, shoot them? Oh, God. It just kills them, I think. I'm not sure how to collect those, but... Hello! Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps, present. All right, that's everything. I'll jot it down. Uh? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. And you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Well. Ma? Of course. I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> well are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Yeah, it's called the basement, dude. Well, enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good whale, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel around to every single whale throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I learned that there are 58 wells. Wow, okay. Oh. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. Man, that's a lot. That's... How many shrines were in the first game? Are wells going to be the new shrine? <laughs> If you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know of? Oh. I'll reward you, of course. How does 10 rupees per location? Okay, so that's like 580 rupees in total. I mean, sure, I guess. Link's not a good haggler. Like, just ask for more. Just be like, how about 20 rupees per location? Hmm? <gasps> really? That's fantastic. All right, then. Tell me everything. I think I found like one or two. Three? Okay. Three of them this time. Oh yeah, including this one, I guess. Uh, I'll give you 10 rupees. That's 30 rupees. <laughs> wow. Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all of these wells. How many left across Hyrule? 55 to oh. find. Okay. Uh, even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> they were a crucial part of life all the time ago. Isn't that simply amazing? Huh? 
I'm going to Lookout Landing next. There's a well there I want to see. If you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Okay, so we're collecting well locations. Where are the wells? Well. Let me grab... Ah, man, they're so fast. It's hard to get these lizards. So what's at the end of this well? Maybe I can sneak up on them? I don't know if I've even got a single one of those. I haven't. Oh! Sticky lizard! The suction of its toes allows this lizard to easily cling, cling to walls. It could be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. Oh. So it could allow me to climb wet walls? Is that what you're saying? Where? Ah, they're so fast. Pepper the frog. Oh. Ah. This might lead us to the camp. I need all the bomb flowers I can get because they're really useful. Alright, let's see what's up there. Oh, okay, I can't go straight there, but I can do it here. Oh, it's a lizard camp. Not a bokoblin camp. Interesting. Uh, are they going to find me if I just come out here? Okay, no, not if I'm in the street. I could sneak up on this guy. What's like my strongest weapon? This one. Let's try and do a sneak attack. Oh, kill him in one hit. Damn. You guys want some of this? Ah, oh, damn, they have shields. Oh, he's got a little boomerang. And it broke, man. Oh, it didn't break. What broke? Oh, the second Bokoblin arm. Okay. So one half of it broke. Now it's just the one arm left. Okay. Let's use this, I guess. Yeah. And you're done. Boomerang. Oh, it's all corroded. A decayed wooden boomerang. Useful tool that comes back after you throw it. Its current state has not lessened its performance. Oh, I should be taking these. Taking some photos. Lizard shield. A common shield found among the Lizalfos. Lizalfos? It's made of metal, but its sloppy craftsmanship offers poor durability. Hmm. Uh, well, it's better than this. And this. This Alphos horn. Huh. A Lizalfos tail. Highly flexible, stretchable tail. Fuse it with a weapon to add a lashing, whip like quality to attacks. Huh. So it would do like a kind of a whip, I guess? Interesting. And a Lizalfo's horn. Thin, sharp, knife-like horn. A rock boomerang. So they just attached a rock to a boomerang? Like, wouldn't that throw off the whole balance of it? Like, I don't think it would come back to you if it's got, like, a big rock on top of it, but... Sure thing. Oh, let's take a picture of this guy. Thanks for turning, giving me your, your best side, your best profile. But now I must shoot you. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Oh! Oh shit, I didn't think he was gonna shoot me through that. Okay. You're smarter than you look. Gotcha! 
Lizalfos Talon. Talon once grew from the elbow of a Lizalfos. Huh. Not from the... Its aerodynamic shape increases attack power. Okay. Five arrows. One. A Lizal bow. Oh, that one's a lot stronger than my other ones. A wooden bow created by Lizalfos. It's reinforced by the bones of a large fish. A marked improvement over any standard wooden bow, I'll say. So was that the scary monster that you were so scared of? Just this this guy here? Tick stick. Um I don't really use these boomerangs though, to be honest. So I think I'd rather this. Oh, the well is it counts as an object? Hmm. Did not expect that. Uh, blue moblin horn. Yeah, moblin. It's a lot of name of enemies to remember. I'm sorry if I forget them. <laughs> blue moblin horn. A large curved horn with two extremely hard tips. And a moblin fang. A hard sharp fang obtained from a moblin. Alright, so was that the monster that this kid was scared of? Probably, right? Also, what are these arrows? They're like pointing in the same direction. Oh. oh, I think there's something up there. They're pointing to a Korok, aren't they? Aha! Yeah! So, I saw... There's a dragon up there. It's actually pretty close. Oh, I think it's over uh, Kakariko Village. I wonder if it's close enough that I... Oh, it's Nydra. Nydra. I don't remember the name of the dragons from the first game, so I don't remember if that's one of them. Probably, right? Nydra. Wait, can I get like a description of it? Okay, the dragon counted as a picture, but I can't find it anywhere in the compendium, so I don't I don't really know. Um Oh, what the hell? It's a mini talus! A stone pebble. Ugh. Ugh. Rock got hands. Uh, okay, let's not die to a freaking rock. You know? Just trying to take a photo of it. Just this little rock coming towards you. <laughs> oh. How do you break this guy? Can I like move it? No, you can't. Can I fuse it? No. I guess I just need to explode it. I mean, it's not super hostile. Okay, I just really need to shoot it with a bomb, I guess. If I do that, that's gonna kill me. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Sorry. Is that all it gave me was one flint? Okay, that wasn't worth using a bomb at all. Um, Some kind of bridge over there. There's a shrine up there. And a tower. There's Kakariko Village and these weird, like, ring ruins. And the dragon's, like, right there. It goes very close to the village. Let's just go back to the stable, see if that monster was the one that this kid was scared of. Maybe get a reward. Is that a golden apple? Ooh. That's new. Is that just like a super apple? A golden apple. 
A rare, very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it. Hmm. All right. So, like, does this well here, does that count as a separate well from this one, even though they're connected? Because, like, are all the wells connected to another one? I'm not sure. I have vanquished the monster. Mr. Customer. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster. I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty monster. Amazing. Thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything. But I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so... Oh, nice. I'll give you two pony points. Sweet. Oh, I can get a reward now. Now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. Let's go get that reward. Receive reward. Oh. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. A towing harness. Ah. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Oh. Okay. Like a Korok. That's what I'm supposed to do here, right? Oh. The horse god fabric will be yours. A one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hateno Village dye shop. Oh. Okay. So I need a horse, which I think I can... I think I can rent one from here. Uh, so how does that towing thing work? Like, how do I use it? Okay, can I borrow a horse? Hi. Uh, oh, I have to register one? I can't, like, just rent a horse already? Uh... <laughs> oh, very original. The invisible horse routine. I'm crying invisible tears of mirth. How about you stop kidding around and go catch a horse? Approach from behind and hop on. Got that Ooh. funny guy? Uh, mysterious muck. Okay, so Zora's domain is infected again. No one knows where it came from. It's terrible for the Zora, of course. Being water folk, I'm not sure how they'll manage. Zora's domain is the east pass of Lanaryu wetlands. Okay, I need to find a horse. Like, can I not use one of these? They're right there. Like, what? why do you guys have horses here if you can't even rent them? Um, okay, we'll just have to find a horse somewhere else then. Because uh, I need to tow that that Korok to his friend, but I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. That's why they give you the tow, the towing harness here, is so that you can drag that Korok all the way to his friend over there. Uh, another Gerudo, or is that the same one? Hello? Saba, hey. Don't quote me on this, but I heard there are strange ruins in Kekariko Village. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's the same one. There's gotta be some horses around here, right? Oh, that's a different camp there. These guys have a lot of, uh... Exploding barrels, huh? Be a shame if someone was to explode those. Oh, a rock just fell from up there. Oh shit, this guy saw me. Oh. You can't see me. Boom! They never saw it coming. Could try and sneak up on these guys. Have to be very, very quiet. Aha! Just you now! Where are you running to? Where are you running? You 
try to throw that spear at me. You missed. I'm still missing like one power or like something over there. Not sure what that's going to be. A Lizal boomerang. Made of metal so it can safely be used near fire. What if I like attach it? <laughs> that's the weirdest weapon. <laughs> eh, you know, it's something, I guess. All right, that's all fine and good, but that doesn't give me a horse. I really thought this place would be full of horses. Who's that over there? Oh, ugh. Stalizalfos. Ow. Where's the water coming from? You guys are only skeletons. <laughs> he lost his head, but he's still like... the body still moving if the head's dead? Weird. Is that a sword? Oh yeah. Well this thing's about to break. If it's almost broken and I fuse it to something else, would it like restore its durability? Oh no, because it's already been fused. Okay, let's just get rid of it then. Okay, yeah, I think... I think this is for arrows, not for weapons. Okay, so talons go on arrows, and then horns go on the swords. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. The Zalfo's arm, the arm of a... Talizalfos that continues to struggle even in death can be used as a weapon, but it's very brittle. Hmm. And I really want more capacity for weapons. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using this. Uh oh, it's the Blood Moon. Oh no, that means they're going to come back. And the Blood Moon already? I feel like it really wasn't that long ago that we had one, but. And go double. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> it's so weird. Can you take like a photo of the moon when it's like this? Can't really. I'll still take one just, just for fun. <gasps> Watch out! When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Couldn't get to uh, do some cooking this time. I was too far from any cooking pots. Monsters Sabba, Sabba. everywhere. Oh. oh, hey, kid. Keep your eyes peeled around these parts, okay? Uh, they've been the monster's turf for a long time, so there are lots of creeps hanging around. I heard some of them even set up camp in the ruins nearby. If you're going that way, you'd better be ready for things to get ugly. Okay. I'm just looking for a horse. Armorant. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Uh, what ruins are you talking about? Like these ruins? I think they're just a guy walking around with like a donkey. Let's go see what he has to say. 
Oh, there's another well. I'll have to check out what's down. Oh, that's a big, big choo-choo. Still just a regular choo-choo, though. I thought it would have like, a name. I shouldn't be wasting my Zalpos. Whoa! Where is this guy going? Hello? Who is this? Could it be true? Oh. Oh. Among the ruins that fell in the Lanary wetlands, there are large pieces of debris. Apparently one structure there is so large you can even walk around inside it. It's like a gift from the sky to explorers everywhere. Can I borrow your donkey or... no? Okay. It's another enemy camp. There's enemy camps everywhere. What is this? Is that the thing you were talking about that you can walk inside? Uh. Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's a treasure chest, I think. A hydrant? Oh. Zonai device that gushes water when struck. According to legend, Sky Island saw water shortages long ago but became lush and fertile thanks to this technology. Huh. I'm guessing this is too big to... Yeah, you can't recall it. Okay. Interesting. And there's like enemy camps everywhere. There's a Karak. I need to reach my friend. Uh, this one I also probably need a horse for, though. Is that another well? Man, the wells are everywhere. So where do you want to go? Oh. That's pretty far. Like, I don't really have any kind of vehicle I can use around here. Maybe if this thing can float in the water, I could like put a hydrant on it or like a fan or something. But I think this water is too shallow. Yeah, I think this water is too shallow. Water buffalo. Damn, that looks like one angry buffalo. Oh. Your album is full. Oh. I mean, I guess I could bring him on foot, but it's gonna take a while. Unless, like, I, I can put a fan on this. I do have 10, so... Let's try it out. Oh, it still works. Even in these shallow waters. Except it's gonna hit the... Ugh. Okay, I didn't think such a simple like construction would work, but it does. Hello. Don't attack me, please. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Ah, damn. We run ashore. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. I should probably put like one of these things to control it on top, but I don't think I have any. I mean, I could have brought it on foot, but it's much faster like this. It's a lot more fun, too. Get in here. There you go. Yeah. 
These are like a lot more work than just finding a regular Korok. So I kind of wish they gave you like maybe three, three seeds instead. Also, I'm, where the, man, I'm really getting lost now. I'm like, I wanted to explore Central Hyrule and here I am like all the way here. I'm getting sidetracked, but that's, that's the fun of this game, right? There's always something to do no matter where you go. I'll go back though. Like I truly do want to explore Central Hyrule first. Okay, how am I gonna get in there? There's gotta be like an entrance somewhere, maybe on top. Maybe on top of it. Uh. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wait, what if I was? Could I put that on my shield? There you go. <laughs> now I can block with a giant rock. Mm. Oh. So what's in here? A beam emitter shoots a light beam from its horn, inflicting damage at great range. Oh wow, really? You can use those as like weapons? Oh, okay. Does this thing open after? No, it doesn't. Okay. A beam. Hmm. So we even have like laser beams. <laughs> Let's go southwest. Let's go southwest to the well that we saw but did not explore. Because if it's going to be on the map, I want it to be explored. I really need a horse. Is that the same kind? Electric was room. Wait, album is full. So it saves like even the ones that you put in your compendium. That's kind of stupid. I mean, you can delete all of these. Like, if I delete them, they're not gonna get deleted from my compendium, right? There we go. Um. But, like, if I don't save it, it doesn't get saved to the compendium. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep deleting photos. Because, like, it should just add it to the compendium, even if you don't save the photo, you know? It's kind of weird. Oh, well, I guess we'll just keep deleting photos anytime our album is full. Which will be often, because there's so many things to, uh... Take pictures of. Alright, let's check out this well. Well, well, well. Hmm. Oh, and there's someone down here, too. I never expect to find people down here, yet there always are. Hello? Oh. Did you know if you put your ear to a well, you can hear the willing of the dead? Or so they say, anyway. <laughs> Heroes really do know a little bit about everything. Guess what? You'll be joining those willing dead very soon? Oh, oh it's a freaking... Yiga clan! I didn't think you guys were still here. Damn it. Giga foot soldier, huh? Oh, that's not a good photo, but that's okay. Get over here, bitch. Get out of here, give me your banana. Eightfold blade, but it's all corrupted. Sucks, because these are usually really strong. Mighty banana. Oh, banana. This fruit grows mainly in tropical forests of the Farron region when it's used as an ingredient. Uh, increase your attack power. Okay, did not expect to find a Yiga clan down here. A single-edged sword of the Sheikah tribe. It's small blade. 
Is it a small blade? It looks pretty big. Uh, now Decayed is suited for covert actions and yields more powerful sneak strikes. That's right, there's weapons that are better for sneak strikes. I'll have to keep that in mind. Then Ordinary Blade. Um, okay, I should get rid of this. And keep this. And uh, what could I fuse to it to make it stronger? Uh, I mean, it looks wrong, but I guess what matters is that it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty strong. So I'm gonna be using this for my sneak strikes. Uh, let's keep using this very strange weapon. <laughs> this is all wrong. It should be the boomerang on the stick, not the opposite, but I kinda... I messed up. So these wells are like even simpler than shrines, like there's typically, I guess, one single room, maybe like a little tunnel where you can find some resources. Oh, that's very deep. Anything down there? Nope. I need like a big heavy weapon to destroy these rocks. But I don't have any. This one is, I guess. Oh, there's another eightfold blade in this. Huh. I mean, this thing's really strong, but it's gonna break like so fast. I really need more space. I need to find this big Korok that gives you the more like uh, the inventory space. I think they said he was in. I know they mentioned that he was somewhere. Maybe in Kakariko Village? You know what? I'm just gonna stick with the one I have. Let's get out of here. Alright, I need to stop <laughs> exploring this area. I said I was gonna explore this area, so let's go back there. Um, let's go back to the stable and like, well, I think there was some horses around here, so let's try and go find one there. I really think it's silly that you can't like rent a horse in a stable. You think that's the whole point? But Okay. So we get more bokoblins over there. Mm. There's a rock that just fell. It's gonna be hard to tell like which of these little islands I visited or not, because there's a lot of them. I don't know if they get marked like on the this what's this star I guess there's something up in the sky here uh, maybe these I guess this is like the ones I visited but it's kind of hard to tell like which one you have or not anyways they only have like a chest typically so can one of these like just fall on your head while you're walking around because <laughs> Sounds like it would kill you. There's a hole in this mountain. Oh. Oh, it's a goblin camp. Oh, so you could like sneak it in here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Surprise! Oh, I missed the cue because I was selecting a weapon. <laughs> a throwing spear. Eh. I'm good. A wooden shield. Lightweight, simple shield, high deal for less experienced fighters. Can withstand light attacks, but blocking stronger blows is not recommended. Oh, there's some horses. 
Alright, let's try and sneak up on them. Or I could like fly down onto them. I think sneaking's probably like this. Ah, the fucking tree! Ah, damn it! <laughs> the tree spooked them. I want this one. I want this one. Come on, come on. Don't be like that. Don't you want to be the horse of the hero Link? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> stay there. Stay right there. There we go. Um, soothe. Soothe. Chill, chill. I think you just need to soothe it, right? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. I don't remember it being that easy to tame the horses, but... Alright. We have a horse. I never really used the horses that much in the first one. I just kind of went everywhere on foot, to be honest. These damn trees. Okay, he's still kind of fighting me a little bit. He's not like completely obedient yet. But I think if we just keep working together... Yo, you know there's nothing left in this cave, right? Oh, there's a well there too, and there's some smoke coming out of it. Uh, okay. Let's not get distracted. First, I need to go and uh, register this horse. One thing at a time, because, man, it's so easy to get distracted. Sorry, but that's on you. You're kind of fighting me. Stop it, stop it, stop it! These are a little hard to control. I'm not sure if it's because it's not like fully tamed yet, but he doesn't like respond to me. Okay, your horse will be in good hands. Uh, hey, that's a pretty good horse. Gentle temperament. All right. Got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Uh, since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point. Nice. And that's gonna get me my next reward as well. Looks like you got some points saved up, Link. Okay. Uh, a name. Oh man, what should I name this horse? Uh, well, it's my first. How about we name him Timber? In honor of Timberheart, the first planet you visit in Outer Wilds. <laughs> I know my audience. Alright, Timber. A good name for a horse, right? Oh. You want to take it with you or board it? Uh, let's board it for now. Oh. Your horse is safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. Have you heard about the trouble in Zora's domain? Yes, I have. Good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. So what's that about a reward? Yes. The horse god fabric. Huh. Tough fabric bearing a design of the horse god Melania. Melania? It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider, but I already have it. Can you change the look of your paraglider? Oh. Here the dye shop in Ateno village is a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nekluda, you have to stop by. I'm sure they can help put this fabric to use. Just two more points, and you can use the Melania bed. Alright, that shouldn't be too long. Uh, okay, well, first of all, have I been in this well there? I have not. Let's go check that out. And also talk to this guy on the bridge. So much to do, so much to see. Rest in peace to a singer from Smash Mouth. He was right about there being so much to do and so much to see. Ah... 
got your hands on a booble gem? You had the courage to not only go in a cave, but face down a strange creature? You're a brave one, that's for ah. sure. If you manage to get your hands on a booble gem, you should try to find those two oddballs at Woodland Stable in Eldin to the northeast. Those fellows were in real frenzy to find those gems. I bet you'll find them in the cave near the stable. Aww. Heard them talking about some rare treasure they had. I think it was a mystic robe? Something like <laughs> that. Okay, so there's some other stable somewhere in northeast. A mystic robe. Huh. Interesting. Quite curious to see what kind of outfits we're going to find in this game. Probably a lot of returning ones from the first one, but maybe some new ones as well. Rebonet Bridge Well. Alright, is there going to be someone trying to kill me down there? Oh weird, that's not like a regular ladder, it's more like I'm just climbing a surface. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, already! I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. It's my own darn fault. I'm here though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. And the ladder's broken, right? Uh. Oh, it, okay, yeah, it really is. I even had a ladder, but it broke when I tried to climb up. Ah. Uh. On top of that, my best buddy I go everywhere which should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept right on going. Huh. Come on, man. Really? Sorry, not your fault. Can't tell you how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Ah. I mean, the broken part is still here, so we technically could fix it if the dang ladder weren't too high to reach. Fell into a well. I think I can help you, dude. Oh, look at that. It's right there. Oh, weird. Okay. Need to grab, like, the bottom of it. There. There you go. Now you can get out. Ah. Just you and me now, stuck down at the bottom of a well. Not the worst place to call home, I guess. Ah. It's fixed. Did you do that? You're incredible. Now let's get out of here already. <laughs> Man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life, seriously, which would not have been a very long one. I really owe you. Take this. 50 rupees. I love that you don't need a wallet size in this one. I mean, it was fun to get new wallet sizes in the older Zeldas, but you don't have to worry about having too much money. Oh. I'm going to catch up to my buddy Jora and head to Foothill Stable so we can apply for the Zonai survey team. Ah. See you around, thanks again. And hey, don't go falling into any wells, okay? I will fall in every single one. Thanks for your concern. So that's it for that well. Now let's go back to that Korok and try that uh, towing harness. Uh, so how does that towing harness work? I'm not really sure. Ooh. Oh. Customize Ooh. horse. Oh. oh. I think that's how you do it. By customizing it, maybe we can attach the thing to it. Oh. Thanks for waiting. Would you like to equip your horse with a towing harness? Yes. Oh. Give me just a moment. Oh. Harness attached. Now you can transport bulky materials. Mm. Please ask whenever you feel like changing your horse's gear. Uh. Do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Yes. Can't hear if you're too far away, so keep that oh. in mind. Right. Alright, so look at that. He looks good. That's a nice looking horse. Got the nice little color. Cool harness. It's a little bit Gerudo-like. Okay, so I could attach something to this. And like, is it gonna slow me down that I have this behind me? Looks fine. Okay, he's still not like fully... Oh. He's still not fully obedient. But I need to spend more time with him, I guess. Okay, now I can drag that Korok all the way to his friend. Alright, so yeah, your friend is all the way there. Chicken.
it at, dude. Can I attach him like directly to this thing? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, see, that's easy. I'll get you right there in a moment. Maybe, might be a bit of a bumpy ride, but we'll get you there. Here we are. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Uh, so what happens if I just leave my horse, like, in the middle of nowhere? Can I still take him out of stables? Or are they going to be like, your horse is lost somewhere out there. We don't know where he is. Actually, we're really close to uh, the shrine. It's like up there. I don't know if I can reach up there, though. I could try. I don't think Ascend is going to allow me to get that high, though. I can probably reach that. I think it's too high. I'm gonna have to climb on it. Oh. I mean, maybe if I use like something to refill my stamina or like something for climbing speed. I don't know. I don't think I have enough, but let's try it. I don't know. It's gonna be close. I think maybe we can. It's gonna be really close. Oh. Oh. Oh man, I don't have anything else. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh man, I was so close. God damn it. So close. What the hell? What's happening? What? What was that? Where are those? Excuse me? Oh. What? Dark clump? Alright, we found these in the depths. What was that thing? I thought it was gonna like try and attack me, but it just left. And like the sky turned red for a second. That was strange. That looks like it could be a Yiga clan, maybe? Oh, there's one of these weird uh, symbols on the ground. I'm getting sidetracked again. Okay, well. Um, bottomless pond. Oh. Isn't it? Isn't that where I dropped when I first, like, fell from the sky? Oh yeah, I think it is. We never really explored it that much. I can still go back up in the sky, right? Uh, if you remember last time I tried to shoot up from the lookout landing tower and I was wondering if you could fly to the castle and I was like, oh, you can't really because I don't have enough stamina. But maybe if I was to like move in this direction as much as I can and then use my paraglider, maybe then I could. I'm kind of curious to try it. Let's try it. Alright, let's try it out. So I need to just go towards the castle. And 
No, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Because I'm not really moving forward all that much. Although we could try diving down in that, uh, in the depths crater over there. Like go get the light root that's down in this hole. Oh man, I, again, I could almost make it. It's gonna be pretty close. I just need like to upgrade my. Oh, I could uh, upgrade at the town. I should have thought to do that. Yeah, no, it's not enough. Your stamina should go back up when you're, like, not using your thing. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we do have four orbs now, so let's upgrade. Should I upgrade my life or my stamina? Like, I die really quickly, and I've been doing pretty fine with what amount of stamina I have, but, like, stamina is so useful. Oh, hello. Oh. Good morning and thank you for your hard work, Link. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Uh, Pura asked that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So re we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been kind of losing battle because they're all going to show up again in the Blood Moon, but, you know. All three squads are now hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Haza Squad, Torrent Squad, and Flaxel Squad of the Monster Control crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Oh. Found victory at Hyrule Field and moved on to hunt monsters in Nekluda. They plan to launch an attack on the monsters maintaining a barrier at Fort Hateno. Okay. If you see them there, please do me a favor and help them out. Oh. Uh, they're on the north side of Death Mountain. They're heading for a cave discovered at Lake Darman, which used to be a lava lake but has since stopped flowing. Taking out the monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them there, please help. Uh, uh, hunting monsters in Farron to the south, aiming to subdue the pirate ship. The pirate ship on the Menot River, west of Highland Stable. That sounds interesting. What kind of pirates are they talking about? Like, are you talking about like human pirates or like monsters? I'm really curious. Oh. Oh. A number of large monsters. Stone Talus. Mm. Comes out on a survey in a Kala reported an attack by a Talus. Looks like a giant mobile pile of angry rocks. Hard to miss. We shouldn't be able to put a scratch on that thing. Wanted stone Talus. Oh, we're getting like little bounties. How nice. Oh. Uh, how about that Hinox? Uh. Passing by Trilby Plain near Woodland Stable in Northeast. A sighting of a Hinox in the area, they're huge one-eyed beasts. They are incredibly strong, so strong that they wield trees as weapons. That kind of strength would be in over our heads, it's a real situation. <laughs> I'll take care of it for you. Oh. A Mulduga, that's in the desert, right? In the East Barrens and the Gerudo Desert, the report came from the ground research team. They asked us to exterminate it, a terrifying beast that swims through the sand like a fish. But we don't have the means to tackle a monster that burrows in the sand like that. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Oh. Oh. I'm told that your skill in swordplay is unmatched. If you ever stumble to one of our squads during your travels, please lend your legendary skills to our plight. So are these all fights where like other people will take part in it? Where I have like a whole squad that helps me? Because that would be really fun. As long as they can't die, because then, you know. I think I'm going to go with some stamina, because uh, we already have, like, our fort heart. Need a stamina vessel. Ba -da -da -da. And it's washing away some of the gloom again. An important item that restores some of the stamina you lost to the gloom, increasing the size of your stamina wheel. So it's only like a fifth, so you need like five for a wheel. So I'm missing ten stamina increases to get the full three wheels of stamina. Go and bring peace to the world! Bunch of people, I don't see any side quests, so I'm not gonna bother talking to like everyone. 
you don't really need stamina as much in this one, it seems, because, like, you have Ascend, which helps a lot to climb up places, but there's still some places where you can't use it, so... It's still pretty important. Like, having hearts is important, of course, but you can always avoid fights. Like, you don't really have to... You don't really need to have a lot of hearts. Is the lookout landing well, like, finished? Because I know it wasn't last time I came, but maybe now it is? Oh, I think it is, actually. What's down here? People, of course. Oh, it's that girl. The well aficionado. The well enthusiast. Hey, it's you! I'm fascinated by the many old wells, but new wells are pretty interesting too, like this huh? one. Yep. Ma? So three of them this time. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, I'm excited to visit all these wells. They're still... Okay, ah. it's nice that they tell you how many you have left. So I have 52 left. It can be hard to find old hidden wells, if only there was some sort of tool for searching for things. Hmm. Yeah, I know you can use like the slate. Not the chic slate, but the the pura pad to find things, but it's more fun to just find them by yourself. Alright, let's let the water flow. What's over here? A bubble? Oh. Wait, where is this? Ooh, a royal claymore, but it's all... Damn. A large sword now decayed. Issued to the royal family's guard. It's tuned for skilled users and yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. Um, let's get rid of... But I still don't really know how to use this thing. This one's kind of shitty. <laughs> okay, I didn't do a great job with it, although... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this thing. It's not a great fuse job. <laughs> so where is this? Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> he just saw me, he's like, what? You just came out of the ground? Hi. Okay, yeah. So one thing I kind of want to do is I do want to dive down in this in this crater here. Cause then we could go get the light root in the depths. It would give us one more teleportation spot. Not making a lot of progress in this episode, I feel. <laughs> I'm just like wandering around. It's gonna be a long playthrough. Oh, hello. Were you just waiting for me there? Mill. Uh, let's go towards the east this time. Rocks. Sometimes you see some of these rocks falling and there's like nothing up there. So, where the rocks fall from? Huh. Oh, there's a well. Grassland fox. There's another well. Oh, this one doesn't have a ladder. It should be like darker than it is down here, like it should be pitch black really. There's a chest there. Uh oh it's these horrible. Ones. 
Hello, sorry to bother you in your home, sir. Oh, he's drowning. Ugh. That's kind of horrible, I'm sorry. And then they drown. That's that's horrible. <laughs> oh, that's where it is. That's where it was. A knight's halberd. Now the kid, this halberd was made for knights of Hyrule. Reflects their courage in defending the kingdom. Powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. Hmm. It's like I restored it to its full glory. And then this Claymore. Um, there we go. That's about the best I can do right now with what I have, so... Let's get out of here. So, do you just need to spot the wells, or do you need to like go down inside of them for them to be registered as like being discovered? I wonder. Ow! There's like a bigger rock there. Well, this place is definitely a lot nicer than it was in the first one. Because there was like all these guardians. I'm sure we're gonna run into some guardians again. Also, there's a cave there. Don't think I didn't spot you. Is that a Goron? Oh no, it's a boar. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I thought it was a Goron. Ah, uh, just a treasure. I thought maybe it was like the entrance to a secret cavern. A traveler's bow. There's like some kind of Oh, there's some gloom. What is that? And also, how am I going to get there? I might not have enough stamina to get in there. Ooh. Ooh, this is barely... What is this? Hyrule Castle Moat East Chasm. Oh, it leads underground. Oh. Oh, so you can just find like hidden chasms? Oh. Alright, well, let's go! It is so dark. What the hell is this? A blue white frocks? Excuse me? <laughs> Is this thing flying? Oh lord. Okay, coming here was maybe a bad idea. Uh... Okay, I, I am not prepared for this. I need some damn light, that's number one. Oh, it's got rocks on its back. Okay, so it's kind of like a... 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. I am overwhelmed. It's kind of like a talus. Oh. Oh, he's trying to eat me. What the hell? Okay, yeah, I totally should, like, shoot bomb arrows on these rocks, I think. Eat this! Did he eat it? He ate the bomb! Oh! Nice. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Uh, okay, let's get our health back up. Okay, need some bombs to break these. Oh, okay, it really did not do as much damage as I thought. This music is so chaotic. It's kind of like a... a Dodongo, almost. Oh god, you are scary. Please don't eat me. <laughs> okay. I really did not expect to find this down here. I thought it was just going to be like a regular area. Oh, where am I now? Oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's just run to this thing. So we at least like have a respawn point. It is so dark down here. Scourge of the depths. A papis light root. Okay, thankfully you can still do this even when in combat. Expel the darkness. Okay, well that's gonna be very useful so I can see what the hell is happening. Okay, this thing kills me in a single hit, which I guess is not very surprising. Look at the size of this thing. This kind of feels like an enclosed area where like that's the only thing that's down here. I don't know if I have enough resources to kill this though, like to destroy every rock. I might run out of weapons, but I do kind of want to try. Oh. He spots me very quickly. Let's use this time to take a little photo of it. Let's just use our strongest weapon. Oh no, that's for sne sneak strikes. That's for flurry rush. Man, I'm doing almost no damage to this thing. I don't know if I can do this. I also don't have that many bombs. It, re it really fights like a Dodongo. Let's a oh, I can't climb on it. Damn it. I'm not gonna have enough weapons for this. Yeah, no, there's no way. I need way stronger weapons to beat this thing. are very scary. This music too is like, ugh. Can I like ascend? Top of this tree? Nope. Where are those? Are they like flame? Flame things? 
Oh, there's like a couple devices here. What is this? Oh, is this one of these like beam emitters? No. What is that? Oh, it's a wheel. Why do we have access to a wheel? What I need is like a weapon to fight this thing. Okay, yeah, this seems to be like a closed area. Interesting. So I think it's just like this monster down here and that's it. Huh. Some skeleton horses. Style horses. Okay, that was a very jarring experience to just dive into this really dark, like, hole and just see these eyes down there. This giant thing staring back at me. Ugh. That was quite the moment. That was cool. <laughs> That's the fun of, like, never knowing what to expect. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything down here. Uh, kind of wasted some of my weapons there trying to fight this thing, but... It's alright. We live and learn. Oh, even some bokoblins and a Zalfos. A black Lizalfos. Well, representation's important. <laughs> oh, and a black bokoblin. What are you dancing about? These guys would give me pretty strong weapons, but they're also strong enemies. My weapons might not even be strong enough to kill them, so... Um... I guess I should just get out of here. Dude, you're never gonna believe what I found down in this chasm. Ugh. Can I read about it? There it is. A blue-white frox. Oh, it even tells you what you're gonna get from it. Huh. A large monster that dwells in the depths has ore on its back to lure enemies. Can shake off enemies who climb atop it and then snatch them mid-air. Its large mouth allows it to swallow whatever it hungers for in one gulp. That's quite the monster. Okay, let's try and use a different path this time. Weird that there's no, like, fast travel point up this mountain. So either there's, like, something really horrible in Endgame in this castle, or there's something horrible in Endgame down in the chasm beneath the castle. Maybe even both. <laughs> So, probably not smart to even try and go there, but like, I'm curious, you know? I want to get a glimpse of what we're in for later in the game. So, there's a path here. Bit of a shortcut, I guess. Oh, there's some monsters in here. I can hear them. <gasps> okay, it's a horrible one. Uh, I guess these aren't too bad. Oh, this one's actually really strong. 
These must be like black problems. Yeah, they have a lot of health. Ooh. Sturdy long stick. Now you don't have a weapon. It's already badly damaged. You throwing a rock at me? Oh my god. I shouldn't be picking fights with enemies that are too strong for me. I just can't help it. <laughs> and we've made like no progress this whole episode. <laughs> now we're back here. <sighs> A few moments later. Alright, let's try this again. I thought putting a big rock on this shield would make it like super strong, but it's actually really weak. <laughs> There's gonna be like some cool stuff here. Hidden passage. Oh. Gotta be some cool stuff here, right? But also some very strong enemies, I'm gonna guess. Ah, yeah, these guys. Horriblin. Could just like oh could just run past this guy. That's it, a soldier spear. Give me some strong weapons. Fire choo choos. Bats. Where does this even lead? Would you leave me alone, please? Oh, he's so close. Another chest. A diamond! The most precious ore one can find. Signature sparkle has charmed Herulians for generations. It has sold for a very high price. Okay, that's nice. That's probably worth a lot. Um. Can I not grab that? Oh, I probably can only grab it from the top. Damn it. Uh, okay. Going deeper and deeper, huh? Oh, is that a tombstone? Deep beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the Demon King. To ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect this sacred site. Without the castle in place, this site may be disturbed, allowing the Demon King's hatred and rage to be revived. 
The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. Made watch over an eternal peace. Am I heading like where we started the game? That's kind of what it feels like. Should I be wasting my bombs here? Is this like the beginning of the game? Stone palaces. keep going. I'm gonna run out of bombs. Especially if I have to worry about these guys. Oh. oh, it's a like like. Oh, thank god. There's some bombs here. Are we? This is beneath, kind of beneath the castle, so this might be like where we started the game. Hello. This one looks different. Ah, pa, pa. Shock like. Okay, this one's like electric. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, um, I mean, I don't really have to fight this thing, I could just. Wait, what did I use to fight it before? Can't even remember. I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Man, it's deep. Ah, oh, really? That killed me. <sighs> oh man, when did it save? It's gonna restart me like so far back. I wanna see what's down there. <laughs> God damn it. I don't remember. Okay, no, it's restarted me in here. Uh, how did I kill that first like like? I can't even remember. Let's just shoot from here. This can't be where Zelda and Link went underground, because like there's all these rocks. Okay, last bomb. Is that enough? Rusty Claymore. Bunch of rusty clear marks. Yes, got some bombs here. There's gotta be more. Aha. Man, this just keeps going. I really probably should not be here at this point in the game. But now I'm curious. I just gotta keep pushing through. I need to know what's down here, but uh, I'm probably gonna run out of bombs. Hardy truffle. Oh, but they do give you bombs, so... They don't... What the hell kind of rock is this? They don't want you to get stuck in here. like the entrance to something. Oh, 
Oh. I really don't know where this is gonna lead. I'm like pretty much underground at this point. Oh, fuckers. These guys. Oh, at least these aren't very strong. Let's get out of here. How come is the... How come the bodies still reconstruct even after destroying the head? I thought that was like the whole point. They still reassemble? I thought once the head was gone. Soldier's bow. A bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow. Uh, it will still burn if it touches fire. And a soldier's shield. Once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle, easy to handle, but its core is made of wood so it can catch fire. I think it's because they're not all dead. As long as one of them is still... Yeah, okay, yeah, you need to kill them all. That's the trick. This fucking rock. Uh, I move this. Oh, okay. Another little secret passage, but there was still some stuff over there. Man, I'm getting lost. That's it? Just a few bombs? Okay. Huh. That's kind of weird. But wait, if I go through it... Then I could ascend on the other side. Oh, that's the that's the trick. That's what this is. Yeah, if I ascend here, I'm gonna be on. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh yeah. Oh, but wait. No, I can just climb out. I don't even need to ascend. Aha. Soldier's armor. Hyrulean guards praise this armor for its superior defense, made from sturdy plates of metal. The high level of craftsmanship that went into it is obvious with just a glance. Okay, yeah, that's a little better than what I have. It's a lot bulkier, but... Alright, we actually found some armor down here. I did not expect that. Well, at least we didn't come here for nothing, so... I was kind of worried that like this little excursion was just for nothing, <laughs> but no. Uh, what if I fuse a claymore to a claymore? Oh my god! <laughs> it's like an ultra long claymore. Jesus. All right, sure. Why not? And I still can't open that though. All right, that's fine. Ugh. Okay, I don't know how you could possibly climb that, but don't question it. Um. Oh, that the traveler's claymore. Use a claymore to a claymore. <laughs> this giant ass claymore. <laughs> All right, sure. Why not? So that was like a little secret. I wonder if that's the only instance of this armor in the game. Probably not. Like, it's pretty well hidden if it is. Okay, what is this blue rock? And can my bombs even break this? <gasps> it can't. 
Oh shit. So my bombs are not strong enough. Oh damn. Man, I really wanted to keep going. I'm gonna have to come back like all the way here. And I have so many materials. Maybe I need like a... Hmm, would a beam emitter work to destroy this? I could try it. What if I put a beam emitter on my shield? I wonder if that beam is like strong enough to destroy a rock. Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, now it seems to be a pretty weak beam. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Maybe you can find like... Oh, wait. I have a time bomb. Would this work? Would that be strong enough? Let's try it. Oh, it is! <laughs> the blast was wider than I thought, but it worked! So you need these bombs to... But I only have three! Oh, man. If there's more of these walls, I'm not going to be able to get through. Okay, it saved after I got the... It saved after I got the armor. That's nice. Right, let's try this again. Let's be a little more careful. I only have three, so... I'm gonna make it count. Wait. It didn't work? Is it just me or did it break? Okay, no, it did break. Aw, oh, man. I might not have enough to get all the way to the other side. Come on. I don't want to have to, like, go all the way out and then come back here. Let's try it. Wait, it didn't work! It didn't break it this time. Why? Ah, oh, man. The only, like, dispensers are up in the sky. Damn it. I'm gonna have to find my way all the way back down here. Okay, this thing has more items now. Okay, I'm gonna go try and get the devices in this dispenser. Man, sucks. I really wanted to know it was down here. I, I guess we'll come back. It's just, it's a shame because there's no way to get back there quickly. Damn it. And here we are back in the Sky Islands. How nice. Uh-oh. I do have like these super charges that are supposed to give you like, I guess, more items. How come I didn't grab all the stuff from this dispenser the first time I was here? Was there even a dispenser here? Okay, so they said to use um, this. It says put it in a Zonai dispenser. So let's try. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing it's gonna give me like a lot of them. Okay, yeah. Purple pot, flame emitter, flame emitter. That's it. No bombs? Damn it, no bombs! Okay. I can't get any bombs up here. God damn it. Um, okay, well, I really just came here to get bombs, 
to explore this underground area, but since we can't... Royal Hidden Passage. Okay, it did mark it at least on the map, so I'll know to go back there. You know what? Let's try and make a little bit of progress. Let's try and go get this shrine and maybe even this shrine. Oh, and it's raining. Alright, so it's uh, northwest. Let's go northwest from here. I love that it shoots you like past the rain clouds. Look at that. It looks like a drawing of, well, not Roru, but a Zonai. Let's go! This one also up in the sky? I don't think so. There's another shrine right there. I wonder what these symbols are for. Like, what do they mean? What do they represent? I thought maybe it meant that there's like a big uh, structure in the sky above them. That could still be the case. Can't really see anything right now. Is this thing up in the air? No, it's just on top of a mountain. This one's actually really close to here. Oh, it's a stable! Yeah, I can see a stable in front of it. Ijo Dag. Ijo Dag. Ijo Dag Shrine. Alright, let's see. Give me some bombs, please. I really need these bombs now. I don't understand why some of them did not break rocks. You saw that, right? Like, it, it exploded and didn't break rocks. I don't get it. A windy device. I should act shrine. So we're gonna have to use the fan here. Oh, do I need to use it to, like, jump higher? I didn't even think to do that. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, you can do that. I did not even think to do that. Wow. So like, to get a little bit of height, you know, that's smart. And then you can use it on this, but I mean, they've taught us this already in the Sky Islands, so this isn't really new information. You need to attach them to the side of this thing. Yeah, and then it's gonna push this thing up. Although... Oh, I also need to grab the chest. Yeah, I could just... Oh, you can't detach it. Oh, okay. I get you. Yeah, but then how do I get up there? I guess I need another one. To fly up there, yeah. Also, these things don't use your battery, I noticed. An opal. Like they can just work forever, which is good. So now that should work. Uh, yeah, it does. It's kind of slow, but it works. So you could technically use these fans to go higher. Interesting, I'll have to keep that in mind. 
da, 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 da. I guess I'll probably like alternate between hearts and stamina. I know when I played Breath of the Wild, I pretty much did like only stamina for a long time. Until I had like, I think two full wheels. But I think in this one I'm going to alternate because like we do run into a lot of pretty strong enemies just because I'm letting my curiosity get the better of me. <laughs> Big Skull Cavern. That's probably a well or not. Bridge. Um. Huh. Speaking of fans. Okay, this one, yeah, is off the map. We could go check out this island over here, north of here. See if there's anything interesting. This weapon looks so ridiculous. Uh, I think it would be cool if you could fuse something to your weapon straight from this menu without having to like drop it on the ground. That would be really nice. You know, if you just had the option like fuse to weapon right from here. Instead of having to like drop it on the ground. Select fuse. Here we go. I see you're correct. I've heard people say that the interface is kind of like, you know, a little messy and I agree. It could be a little more streamlined. But uh, that's okay. So what do we have? And also, a few people have been leaving comments giving me hints about like stuff you can do in the game, like tips on the mechanics and like, uh, oh, you should use this item against this enemy and stuff like that. And uh, I do appreciate the tips. I love that you guys are engaging with the playthrough and I, I really appreciate that, but uh, I ask that you refrain from giving me tips unless like I specifically ask for them, please. Just because like I want to get a chance to experiment with items for myself and like figure out what they do, you know? Because if people just spell out every mechanic for me, then it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. So uh, please don't give me like a bunch of tips. Unless I specifically ask for something, like if they're, I'm really puzzled by something, like the fucking... <laughs> The Zonai Sword? If someone wants to explain to me how that works, uh, I'd appreciate that. But otherwise, please don't give me hints. Uh, just because, you know, I want to have a chance to experiment and figure this stuff out for myself. And even if I'm not, like, getting it at first, uh, I might figure it out later in the playthrough. So give me a chance. <laughs> uh, you want me to get there? Maybe I need to start from here. Wait, I can't go up. There's no one to take there. Let's try it. That seems too far. Oh, no, I can make it. Yaha! Anything on this little island? Just some animals. Probably some walking trees. That's a Karak. And a raft, which means his friend is probably on the other side. Yep. Let's use this raft. What is that there? <gasps> A duck! <gasps> I don't know what that is. Is that an enemy? There's a Octorog there. I can see that. Yeah, bright just a duck. I love ducks. They are my favorite animal. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Water ultra. Would the rusty 
tricks still work on the Archbox? Like if you send them a rusty sword, do they give you a good sword back? What is this? Oh, it's like a chain? Oh. Oh. Okay. You were very well hidden. Um, okay, how much current are we dealing with here? Pretty strength, pretty strong current. <laughs> I'm gonna need like to put a fan on it. Turning. Yeah, over here. Me. <laughs> there you go. That works, right? That counts. There you go. Again, a little bit messy, but as long as it works, that's what I say. Is that a crow? Oh, mountain crow. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. There you go. Cool. Okay, someone just left a bunch of flint and arrows here for some reason. That's not natural. Someone had to leave that here. <gasps> Ducks! Look at that. Let's get a really good one. That's a good one. Much better. Look at that. Adorable little duck. Let's try not to startle them. Yeah! I will never kill a single duck in this game. Mark my words. Ooh. Ooh, okay, <laughs> that was a little scary. <laughs> I was about to break my promise like seconds after. Can you imagine? I always think like these rocks are kind of like suspicious. I always think maybe there was gonna be a Korok beneath it. Just leave me alone. Okay, there is a camp up there. Uh I guess we could clear up the camp up there. I feel kind of bad when I'm not making progress in these episodes. Like, I, I don't want you guys to get bored watching this playthrough, but... You guys enjoy this wandering around aimlessly, do you? Right? It's kind of the whole point of this game. Oh, I need to test... Uh... I want to test uh, this thing. Oh, it's not. I thought it was just a regular camp. Okay, let's try it. Oh, the whole talus is controlled. He's gonna throw them out. <laughs> nice. Okay, I need to know how long does it stay controlled. Okay, I think he's still gonna attack me. But at least he threw them off, so. That's something. It's like my... Okay. Um, 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 bum, ba -dum. okay. 
Ugh. This is dangerous. No, 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 no. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Sneak strike. Just use this. That's okay. You just need to not get hit. Whoa. I got you. I got you. And again with this big heart that I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with. Wow, these guys just die like instantly. I thought they would just like fall off and keep attacking me, but they just kind of vanished. <laughs> okay, uh, should I like attach this to a shield? I tried attaching it to a weapon and it didn't really work that well. So let's try. I don't know, is that better? Like, there's gonna be something you can do with this heart. I guess I'll have to keep experimenting. There's gonna be like something you can attach it to that's really good. Did not expect a talus up here. I really thought it was just a regular camp. And a ruby. I don't know if the stone talus uh, respawn during a blood moon. I mean, we'll find out eventually, but. And I don't even know how long I've been playing for. Probably a long time. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna go grab that shrine and then I guess we're gonna stop there. How about that? Oh, hello. I love the planes! So do I. Alright, I've talked to this girl before. She didn't really have anything that interesting. I mean, I guess I have a lot of money. I guess I could, I could buy some. Let's get like three of each. There you go. And let's head for the shrine. More horses over here. Fellas, gentlemen, don't mind me. Much more rocks falling. I could try and get to this island up there. I'm really curious to know if one of these rocks can just fall on your head. Could happen. There's a big fire in these ruins over there. Huh. What is that? I'm really curious what that is. Oh, this one came pretty close. There's got to be that one video of someone just walking around and then a rock falls on their head. It's it's had to have happened to someone. Gonna be one of these uh, super charges again, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? What's happening there? It's like this. Looks like an enemy camp, but I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Shrine is like surrounded by ruins. There looks to be. Oh, wait, they're goblins. It's 
sneak up on them. I do have like my sneak sword. Although it's kind of wasted on the goblins. Like they're pretty easy to kill anyway. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna give you guys a surprise. You didn't wait for the surprise. A surprise with a sword up your ass, but you wasted it. What a wheel? Why is there just a giant wheel there? There's a bunch of them. They really want you to build like a little car, don't they? Oh, and there's a... Oh, that's why there's wheels. It's because there's a corrupt. Okay, well, let me hit the shrine first. The Susuyai Shrine. Susuyai. A spinning device. Oh, look at these little cars. Uh-oh. How am I? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's it for you, boy. Okay, how can I? Oh, that easy. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Hmm. There you go. In okay, case so that's a very easy chest to grab. Five arrows, really? That's it? Are they all gonna have a chest with five arrows? Or is that the only one? Okay, I guess that was the only one. Not much of a treasure. Okay, they want you to build your own. And see, they're smart. They put a head on it. To make it like more obvious which direction it's going. Very clever. Uh, it could be built a lot better, but it's still gonna work. I think it might not actually. Ugh. Ugh, okay, that's terrible. <laughs> But it still works. So yeah, they're teaching you you can build a car. And then I need to attach one to this. Turn this thing. Gotcha. Uh To move a platform? How could it move a platform? Where would I attach it? Like this? Oh yeah, because it rolls alongside the thing. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. It's interesting, these shrines are not so much puzzles as they're like there to teach you the mechanics of the game. So like your reward is not so much the treasure or the orb, it's like the knowledge of how to use these items, which is cool. And that's two orbs. All right, should I do this correct right away? All right, this episode's gonna be so long, but let's try it. Where's your friend? It's gonna be really far, isn't he? Oh man, yeah, you definitely need a car for this. 
All right, all right. <laughs>
But yeah, we're going to be doing this shrine next time. So again, like no story progression in this episode. We, we did explore like quite a bit. We did find a lot of interesting stuff. Some of it we'll have to come back to later. Some of it we actually figured out this time around. I'm really having a lot of fun with this game. Like my only concern is like, I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of aimless style of playthrough, but I'm really enjoying myself. There's something new around like every corner. It's really exciting. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider maybe leaving a little comments down below. Maybe leave me a little like, to say that you uh, enjoyed this video. But until next time, I had fun playing this. I hope you had fun watching it. And I hope you catch me next week for some more Tears of the Kingdom. See y'all. Thank <laughs> you.